You might find someone or something that could lead you back home. And you might just save our village at the same time. Wow, yeah, it's like you're fucking using me. <laughs> but okay. Now. Welcome everybody to Secret of Evermore. Part 2 Arena. Now I spent a little bit of time killing these guys. These guys are actually pretty good to grind for experience and towns. Later is the raptors. I think the raptors give the best. But for now, this is, was a good place to... This is basically what I was doing. Just killing these guys. They multiply. I think it depends on the screen. I've been trying to upgrade Flash too. Got it like to... Pretty good level. <laughs> well, only two. I think it was like only level... Actually, technically level one. Let me just demonstrate it. Because the, the first level is the quickest. You only have to cast it ten times. And then after that... Got to cast it, well, you get in increments of five, so like, what, like 25 times or something like that? It really it takes it takes time. It takes a lot of ingredients and money, and they're a pretty good enemy to, to uh, kill. But we are going to proceed at this point, because I'm pretty good level at this point. Wow, this is actually where we need to go. I chose the right hole. That's what he said, right? <laughs> wow, I thought a little sand and... The shoes was irritating. Oh yeah, shit, I forgot the voice. It's, it's this voice. Totally. Far out, man. Water, 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 and clay. Yo, dude. Slow creatures usually fall prey to sucking the whirlpools. You need the speed of the jaguar. That sounds like a good alternative to being soaked in sand. I can provide you with the jaguar tooth ring. It gives the world the ability to run at the speed fastest of feline, as the fastest feline. And it's free, with only one purchase only today. Okay. Uh, we'll get pixie dust, because we don't have it. Actually, that's actually an expensive purchase. I would just like to... Let's get essence, whatever. Please take this jaguar ring as a gift to you. Now, that basically means we can sprint. Awesome. Bruce, a button, Morty. Apparently, but what? But watch your energy, eh? For too long, you wear out. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, sprint, sprint, yeah. I haven't fully upgraded my bone, but there is a trick to infinite running. When you have full, you're able to have a full charge. Uh, it looks like the enemies are waiting for that cutscene. Maybe we should be a little careful down these whirl whirlpools. Like Jack McCoy said in the Invasion of the Mole People, stay focused and watch your step. I don't know why, he sounds a little bit more like Sid. Whoa, dude, totally watch out for them whirlpools. Is he going to say it again? Probably is. Probably the last dialogue. This is getting old or something. This is getting kind of old. We should really try to avoid those whirlpools. Well, well, it's sucking me even though it's not. Jesus, okay. I ain't know. Oh. I think it's, I think there's always something in these skulls. <laughs> Dog, you're not doing your job in sniffing. I think you can set the AI so it doesn't do it as much or it does it more. I'm just holding them still. Actually, you can. Come on, can't. Come on, scream. Anything? There we go. Ash. Just watching out for those whirlpools. They're a, little, they're a bit sneak attacky. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, good. <laughs> Take care of it, doggo. Attack. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. No, wh why? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, no. Just wanted to get that ash. Just need to get that ash. Let me get more roots. I'd like to get more wax, please. That'd be nice. It takes wax and oil to cast the flash. That's the most annoying thing is doing uh, doing in this game is uh, grinding your levels, your spell levels, your alchemy. It's just like I think, well, Final Fantasy IV or something, where each spell individually levels differently. That's exactly where like, I I don't know who had to pulled it from first. I have to look at the dates of these games. Look at these whirlpools, crystals. Are we done here? I think we are. 
there is more of this that we should do. What's it over here? Uh, 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 okay. Wax. Just smacking him aside and grabbing that ash. I, I just remember there's always something in the ash in those skulls for some reason. It's a visual thing. See anything else? Can't carry more petals. Yeah. Killing those turtles, they drop petals quite consistently, so that's a good way to farm them, I guess. Water. Is there anything else there, doggo? Come all this way for just water on the ground. Eh. I can... Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. What'd you find? What'd you find? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he sniffs out things like that, too. Item chass. Item cash stuff. Okay, so I, I guess we're at least done here for now. Not really much can be done. But now we are in the buckmuck. Oh, this is where it gets serious. Oh, there we go. Cutscene. Oh! Hello, friend. I don't get many visitors out here in the buckmuck. I study alchemy. It's very powerful. Alchemy? You're not strong hard, are you? No, but I know him. I saw him only a few days ago. He was walking towards the big bug. If you're going after him, you should have another alchemy formula. Alchemy is quite useful. You take a little of this and that, and poof, it's like magic. Let me give you hardball formula. It's an effective weapon. Oh, yes. Yeah, by the way, weakest alchemy in the game. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I guess the, the hint would be target gets beamed. That's a little bit of a hint that's, you know, shit versus small fireball. Well, that's actually not even a very believable name either, but whatever. Just mix one part crystal and one part clay and give it a good toss. It's the cheapest one to really level up right away. Because I think crystal's cheap versus, like, actually wax in that. You know, oil. Yeah, all things considered, it it usually is one of those easier ones to level. But it's not worth leveling because it's really shit, to be completely honest. Alright, so we got ourselves another alchemy. Let's go and get some stuff. I guess we'll, we'll make our way to saving the man that we've set up to save. Where are you going? Where are you, Where are you going, dog? Is it here? 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 Ah, uh, okay. Clay. Any other things? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh, okay. Sometimes it's not always precise where he sniffs. Scary. Four parts water. Yeah, he's sniffing out a lot of stuff right now. He's probably gonna find a lot of oil here because it is a uh, it is a swamp of tar. Are you on one? Damn mosquitoes. What a strange bug to be in this area. Did it lay their eggs in tar? Gotta try to be careful. Uh, clay? The enemies have green blood. I wonder if that's a censorship thing. Actually, I think I'm pretty sure they have blood explosions. Oh, where? The Sorium dog. Good boy. It looks like an arrow. You see that? They go in that direction. I will go right. Find a lot of stuff here. Uh, be careful of that and that. Oh, there is something? Well, there's an enemy, but I don't think the dog's intending that. But actually, is he? Let's see. He's walking in place. I'm trying to fight a maggot while he's uh, doing that. Ow! Ow, they fu those that guy fucking hurts. All I have is a like, grass shirt or whatever. <laughs> I think you can actually buy armor from the from someone somewhere. But I one dude just gave it as a random NPC. Oh wait, was that wrong turn? Took a wrong toy in an alpacoiki. Oh wait, no, it was 
back here. Yes, yes, we go this way. We go this way. Towards the big bug. This appears to be a big bug. Ow. Crystal. Come on, one of us kill that damn maggot. I'm trying to knock it back at least. Kill it. Kill him. What, what is my weapon at? Because I did 76. It might actually get to level like level 3 soon. It would be good to have that during the, the boss fight. I might just do that just before entering. Oh, you find something, doggo? Some wax. Wow! I don't know why I made the baldy noise. You are amazing. Until you fail at math, then I kill you. So you want to go into the center here? Ow! Oh, I'm pretty should take a pedal. Because I'm sure we're going to find some along the way here. These enemies hurt. Shit. At least those skull dudes do. Oh. Here we go. We got this. This wonderful little uh, maze. Ow! Smell! I'm just gonna try to kill them on my own. Okay, doggo, what do you find? Is it here? Is it there? Is it on the other side? Uh, let's try the other side. Yeah, I figured. Ow! Jeez. It's maggots. They're really something else. In case you haven't noticed, you have to wait for your attack to hit 100% to do more effective damage. Otherwise, it does, like, feeble. But at least it does applies knockback. Or it comes in useful in some regards. And not doing too well in my uh, damage department. Yay, roots. Will this break here? And this is almost like a little maze. Eh, a little slide there. A little slide action. You hit him once, doggo, or are you going to kill him? Okay. You got into the level where you can pretty much kill him in one hit. Oh, honestly, so can I if I hit. Ow. Or not ow, but tickle. Oh, shit. Uh... One of us is going to have to kill things. Oh, shit. They, like, auto bold me. I guess we're at a dead end. Is there anything here? Oh, wait, wait. Hey. Ah, we're right here? Yeah. Might as well get that before we miss it. Hurrah, haru. We here we go. We're going to clear all this. Oh, let me kill it. Ah! Why do I take so much more damage? Why, what's what wrong with my feeble human skin versus your dog carapace? Right, it's better to take a pedal. You gonna kill him, doggo? Oh, no. You got knocked back. I was just letting him attack. Oh, oh, oh. You found something? You find something? Where is it? Show me. There you go. Oil. I love oil. Always wanted more oil. I like that. Oh, over here. What is it? More oil. Awesome. How much more flashes can we do? Huh. It only gave us one oil, though. I think this is a dead end. But let's pick up something. No? Find something. Oh, there we go. Now it's probably going to break behind me. No? Oh. Did we miss our turn? Ah, oh, we did. Or did we? Oh, yes, we did. One time, man, we keep, keep finding roots, I guess. It seems like a weird thing, like, it was all just to get that one root part. Let's see if I could kill this slug. Eh, no, stop. Oh, God, evasion, evasion is annoying. Uh, like, let's see, how close is I level to... Ah, oh, not quite. Oh. Ah, pedal. Got a little redeemer. Ah, oh, it's gonna be another dead end, probably. Yeah. Annoyingly, I guess. Like, it's gonna break here. Oh, no. I guess not. But it probably breaks behind us. Or 
not? Oh, there's another path. <laughs> okay. It's annoying, but all right. Uh, oh, clay. Hey, now we're trapped in. We have no choice but to fight the boss at this point. But I think there's a little bit of a... Stop it. If I can... Okay, kill it. Or actually, it's so close to death that you attack it. Jeez. <laughs> Alright. Where's the scent? Oh, right in front of that skeleton thing? Alright. There you go. <laughs> Give him a little nip for good measure. Pick that, you stinky skeleton man. Oh, what was that? What'd you pick up? Pick up anything? Damn, maggots everywhere. This place has a serious problem. Big maggot infestation. This game has a, uh, you know, has very uh, ambience-like music. Like a lot of it's just wind or whatever. This one's just kind of just like drums that, I guess, give the uh, idea of impending doom. Let's assume a pedal here. But yeah, playing this game way back then, it, it, it seems so different, very atmospheric with how it chose. It, it, it's almost like a dark adventure. Funny thing is, I think I remembered looking at, like, there's various weird cover arts for this game. And one of the depicts this, the boy as, like, an adult with, like, this really grim look. Like, it's really dark kind of deal. Which is kind of funny when you think about it. <laughs> it's one of those things where the West back then still didn't fully understand the anime uh, and to some extent. We were starting to get a general understanding at some point, but... If you go further back, they really don't, didn't get anime at all. Which is probably what they were going for since this is a square soft game. So they are kind of Japanese. Okay, here we go. Tarmac. What the fuck his name is? It's a Tartax. Yeah, my arms. They face the wrath of my little arms. Now I don't entirely know how we're supposed to hit the get the rib cage open. Oh, it's open! Oh, ow! You spider on me! Yeah, we kill a bunch of maggots. Could be a problem. Oh, we got a pedal back. I think what you can do is fire a flare into there. But my flare's not too much of good damage, but I guess we could do that for, for some free damage. Let's see. That's not so bad. Ow, no, not acid rain! This incredibly slow animation spell! Oh yeah, we hit the chest, I think, to open it up. Oh, uh. Ow! 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 Ah! Damn! This is very jank. Oh god damn! Getting smacked around. What? What damage does just there? Oh, damn that slow animation. Have to watch the arms, I guess. Oh great! The man gets dropped in front. No! I didn't want you to attack! I wanted to get yeah, a charge! I should have held him still. Can I kill his arms? Oh, no, not acid rain! I think the dog's gonna die. Might have to feed him a biscuit. Yeah, probably should have him revived. And let's, uh, pedal ourselves. Okay, uh, I just want to get a good hit. Uh, or completely miss hitboxes, right? Want to get uh, this is a good position right here. Oh, what are the cocktees? Oh, there we go. Okay, I want to get a good charge attack. Ow, he's hitting me from the outside. Yeah. Oh, dog actually did better damage. 
Okay, you're free to enter with me, doggo. Stop dropping maggots. Ow. I think he ran out of enemies to hit us with. Aw, oh, come on. <laughs> Damn it, gonna have to gonna have to heal while that's happening. His head his chest is just staying open. Did I time it out or something? Let me get a good charge attack. And let's just hit it with a flare. Uh Ah! I've never had this where it just open it leaves his chest open. Did I time out something? Doing good damage though. Uh, I'm a little worried Acid Rain. If he casts it on me, it's gonna kill me. Ah, there we go. Yeah! That was like weird. I bugged the bug. I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but I doubt it. I feel like it would be a speedrunner trick. I did the 0.1% tech. You have to attack him in the perfect frame when the maggots are dropping. While talking like Nicolas Cage. And yes, we got a... We got a Talon that's apparently an axe! Ho! Oh, you freed me! I look like that clone guy! You're a brave adventurer indeed! Thank you for saving me. I am Strongheart, from the village of Fire Eyes. I am a member in no good standing of the Nobilian Order. In the, in, oh, sorry. In good standing. Oh, no, no, no mistake in my weird jest. <laughs> Order of Alchemists. I'm Maxon. This is my dog, Rex. He hasn't been himself lately. Oh, that's a catchphrase, I see. You're one of those fuckers. Get lost. Anyways, I'm very happy to meet you both. I was searching for alchemy ingredients when I stumbled upon that monster. If you didn't come along and save me, I would not, I would have been eaten alive. Please take this as a gift of my thanks. You got wax and oil. That means more flash spells. Good luck, Max. That's all you have to give me? That's all you got? Shit. Okay. I guess uh, we're here now. Is there anything else, Doggo? Was there something over here? Yes, there was. I'm a bet. I'm better than you, dog. At finding king. Yes, we have an axe now. More damage. That means we have to level it up again to get the charge attack. I don't know what what it is about Squaresoft. They like gr they like creating these grind things. I guess it does give you more free time to do things. Mini game of grind. Mammoth guard. Ooh, that sounds like armor. Mm. Oh, mammoth guard. Oh. I love it. Is there anything up here? I'm gonna sniff it out, doggo. No, uh, please. Oh, attack that thing. Never mind. Don't attack anything. Uh, no. Damn you, zone! It was way too to the too much to the edge of that thing. So now that we have helped Strongheart, I, I we're supposed to get back. But there are secrets. You'll know. You'll see. You'll know. If you know, you know. You know what I mean, right? It's like that mean. If you know, you know. Although it's not necessarily a sad thing. It doesn't lead to dark faces. But uh. We're gonna. Oh, here it is. Secret! Wow! It's kinda, you know, hard to miss, honestly. Just grabbing all that stuff, and. We found ourselves a friend! Who? Oh, another one of these fucking green dudes. Man, this, they reuse character sprites a lot in this. Whoa, you both look like you've been through a lot! There's a lot of bugs and baddies out there. They are probably giving you a hard time. You're telling me? Uh, hello? <laughs> Here's something that should help you in the sand, tar, and lava. It's a formula of acid rain. Just mix three parts of water and and one part ash and you'll have a potent concoction. Yeah, the funny thing about acid rain is it's half decent, but it's not worth the value of three where you could be using it for 
let's say, heal, and because it takes water as well. So it's one of those spells where it's like, you probably won't be really using it. It's only just a gimmick to grind another spell. Which I'm not sure I'm going to spend all that time to do that. Uh, albeit, I've done it many times and it's addicting. I'm just buying some ingredients because I actually have quite a bit of money right now. Alright. Would you like to record progress? Oh, yeah, actually, I would love to. I would love to record your progress. Let me take your water and ash. Later, 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 Dick. Enjoy, enjoy existing on the edge of that waterfall with no better. And is he just standing there, in no camp or anything? It's just a random NPC in the middle of nowhere. I'm just an alchemist. Is that what happens? Alchemists just they live in nature. Is there some? Is there some lore behind them? Oh yeah. By the way, now that we have an axe, we can destroy these plants. We couldn't do that with the bone before. But yeah. Now we can do things. But first, we best get back to fire hours and report our, uh, our mission uh, accomplishedness. Come on, Rex, let's go find Fire Eyes. I wonder where she'll be in here. Yo, bitch, we did her, your your side quest. I hear you were victorious in the far reaches of the Buckmuck. Bugmuck. It was a bug hunt, and we got out of it okay. And we have a nifty claw, too. It's like an axe. Well, that's that's great. Strongheart has returned to his hut south of the village. And now the village faces a new crisis. The volcano of the north is rapidly cooling down. If this trench continues, we, will be in an I we could have an ice age on our hands. I'd like to help you, but I've really got to start looking for a way back home. Your best bet may be to track down the source of the atmospheric icing. You see, I'm originally from Padugan too. My grandpa was an inventor who lived in the mansion on the hill. He made a machine that could send people to worlds of their own design. Since I enjoy all things prehistoric, I dreamed up this world of cave people and dinosaurs. I was supposed to be here for a couple of hours, but it's been a couple of decades. Wait, hold on, a couple of decades? Are you immortal? Or are you actually older than you look in your character sprite? Otherwise, then that flash joke about, you know, isn't actually kind of awkward. Anyways. Now and again, I sense evidence of the outside influences on our world. This recent drop in temperature could be the work of someone from the real world. And that person has control over the vicious volcano raptors. If you go to the source at the center of the volcano, you might find someone or something that could lead you back home. And you might just save our village at the same time. Wow, yeah, it's like you're fucking using me. <laughs> but okay, this is like what happens in the, pl the, the pale people of Planet 5. Weird names. I was going to say V. It's about a bunch of astronauts who get stuck on the exact same replica of Earth. Only it's populated by zombie vampires and... Well, actually, this isn't like that at all. <laughs> okay. Alright. I like this stupid kid. If you're finished with your little anecdote, I can give you the ability to call upon me in difficult situations. Received call beads. Ooh, kinky. If you need my help, especially in big battles, you can throw a call bead to the ground. I'll appear in a flash, then you'll be able to summon one of my spells. No offense, but how can a girl with help with a couple of adventures like us? <laughs> well, it you sound like you. It sounds like this isn't your first rodeo there, Max. Chill out. I have learned a few tricks since I've been here. Let me show you why they call me Fire Eyes. Step back. Uh, all right. Yeah. Call me if you need my help. Okay. So you know, you know, Thunder. Do you know Thunderga? Big, big deal. I know. I know. Fireball. 
Yeah, how about that? Okay, so there are... I think there's a few alchemists we can visit. Before I... I guess you could say shut her down. There's one back here, I believe, who should be visible now. Ah, there he is. I think this is where we learned the fend. You saved Stongheart from the bug muck. Well done. Nice save. I can help you defend yourself in future battles with an old recipe. This is the alchemy formula of defend. With this one part clay, increase your defense ability. It's actually pretty good. And I do believe it does physically upgrade the effectiveness <laughs> if you gain levels on it. Like the defense values, it's actually kind of nutty. So now there, that's one alchemist. Now we sh we could be able to f go to the original guy. Now that we got our lax here. We got through. Eh. Like you cut the day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, Ishibana. Those are the words you say when you cut things. You, you influence stupid words. That's what I'm doing. A shell hat. We're basically getting armor without buying any. Yeah. I think you can buy, a, like, shitty armor. But that's a little bit better. Is there something over here, buddy? For some reason, I think this must be Strongheart, and he likes to live isolated from everyone else. I guess he thinks he's better than everyone. Is that how it is, Strongheart? Hello, Max. I'm back in business after that terrible experience in the bug muck. Thanks to you, I'm I'm not a bit a bug's dinner. Please take this cure formula. It will cure you from poison and other ills. And there you go. We got cure, which you know, it's all right. It's a good thing to have to cure poison and all that kind of stuff. But you know, since we don't have much formulas, might as well just take it with us. Yeah, I couldn't remember what he gives. I, th I think you do revisit him later, and he gives you another spell. I don't know when. I think some other back-to-back uh, -back hits. Come on. Nah. I'm just gonna get back. Oh wait, something else, Bucko, Doggo, and something else, Doggo. Okay. It's always a nice little treat every now and then he finds. Oh, is that another chest over there? I don't think it's anything substantial, but we'll go and quickly swipe it. Okay, what's in it? A pedal. Yeah. Like I said, nothing substantial. But there are other things, apparently. Yeah, it's one of those things. Don't qu be quick to leave. Be like, oh, I'll just see if we can pick up some of the greens. I know it's like one ash or whatever. Big whoop, but it's, a, it's nice to get. If you're a bit of a completionist like I am, you'll understand. See, roots. Or something else? No. Okay. Everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more. Secret of Evermore. More random ingredient pickups. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we are going to venture forth to the volcano north of this village. This is the next destination we will go. Because we need the axe to proceed. I will probably do a little bit of grinding again. Just so I can have a, at least one charge ability. I keep picking up stuff as I'm talking. But anyways, peace out everyone. Toodles.